I fucking hate those nigger faggots. Fucking black people getting her rights. They should be like women. Have you heard about how bad black people are? I fucking hate them. <laughs> what? Like, why do you think black people are so bad? They're fucking black. Do I need a reason? Like, do you think they should have the same rights as us then? I don't think they should have rights at all. They're like women. Fuck, fuck, you fucking nigger! Oh. <laughs> Bro. That's keep saying, come on, keep on saying shit. Yeah. What? What do you do about it? Yeah. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? What do you need to back up? Hey, you're good, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You piss me off, dude. Hey, we're fine, we're fine. Get the fuck out of my way. We're not looking for trouble. Just go get out of here. We're fine. We're not, we're not looking for any trouble. No, I'm not doing Calm shit. Down. Hey, don't say anything. You feel me, nigger? Hey, we're not looking for any trouble, bro. Hey, hey, bro. We're not looking for any trouble, bro. Fuck, I'm a gussie, you motherfucker. You're fine, bro. Umbrella. What is good, my people? We are live back again with another episode of the forecast. Now, as much as I don't want to say it, we are in submission to the dominant society. We allow them to control our food supply, our school curriculum. They pass laws about what we can and cannot do with our own children. When we talk about resources, we talk about pieces of paper with people faces on it that would have killed us on sight. Resources aren't the American dollar. Resources are land. It's not dollar bills because no matter how much of it you got, at the end of the day, most likely you have to go to a white person to get it. And if you piss off the wrong one, they'll take it away from you, especially when you start using it to get actual resources. And I don't like it, but we have to realize the situation that we are in. And maybe if enough of us get so fed up that we get on code, we'll get out of the situation. But until white supremacy is destroyed, we have to realize that we are at war. And even though we didn't start the war, it won't end until we end it. But right now, they will use any and every excuse even make up excuses to exercise their power on you. Because what is white supremacy without black inferiority? And they have to believe that, especially when they don't have anything else. Now, at the end of the day, if we really wanted to end, we know what we have to do. We can't be afraid to protect ourselves. You see, when a couple of Jewish people get shot, they respond immediately with force. They call it a hate crime. They have press conferences calling for action and they say it will not be tolerated. But then those same people turn around and harm us and tell us to please have patience. Let them finish investigating themselves. And then after they clear themselves of any wrongdoing, they say, well, you just gotta have faith in the justice system and the justice system found them not guilty. So them taking the life of a black person is justified. But well, we shouldn't be getting mad at that. We should be taking notes. But we act too much as individuals and then try to enforce our rights like everybody else. But well, we are the only ones that aren't on code. But well, we really have to understand the system that we are in. When you get pulled over by a cop saying, I know my rights or arguing with them is only going to make it worse. Because most times, not only is it the white supremacy complex working, because he's a cop, he thinks his words mean that much more. And the fact that he has a gun and a license to kill gives him even more reason to believe that, especially when they can kill one of us and get away with it, and in some cases be rewarded. So until we get on code, don't be surprised if you get the same results every time you try to talk back to the cops, because he feels like you're questioning his authority, and that makes him want to exercise it even more. And of course you could be following directions and the same thing still happen. But if you run or try to fight back, you're just giving them even more excuses. And the point is for us to stop having casualties. We've had far too many casualties for hundreds of years. Until we're on code and ready to take action, we have to remember we are in a system of white supremacy. And it should make you angry. You shouldn't be afraid to say that you're angry. But we as a collective have to use that energy the right way to destroy white supremacy. Because at any time, any one of us could be the next target. In Texas, a brother Michael Dean was shot in the head by Temple Police during a traffic stop. 
So let's see how this unarmed brother could end up getting shot in the head during the traffic stop. The same courses that we had on Monday night, the night of the officer involved shooting, and the same courses that we had on Tuesday afternoon when officers identified the victim as Michael Dean are the same questions that we have tonight. So far, the Temple Police Department hasn't shared any information regarding that case. We have no narrative whatsoever. Uh, we have no indication whatsoever what, uh, as to what uh, caused this uh, officer-involved shooting to take place other than a traffic stop. Strong words from attorney Lee Merritt representing the family of Michael Dean, a 28-year-old man killed by a Temple police officer on his daughter's birthday. Temple police still remaining tight-lipped regarding details in their preliminary investigation on Monday. I understand the family has concerns and questions, as does the community. It is my goal to answer those questions thoroughly and accurately following the completion of these investigations. In a press conference, Merritt called Temple PD's lack of transparency to the family and the public a major red flag. He says their decision to keep a black box of information to themselves is unacceptable. The police department had every right to tell this family what they knew. They chose not to, which to me implies a cover-up. Uh, they're willfully withholding information from this family. Family members of Michael Dean say four days after his death, they still haven't seen his body. His body was whisked away to Dallas County, which is two to three hours away, uh, has not been returned yet, and this family cannot even confirm that Michael Dean, uh, who was killed, was the, in fact their loved one. And while the family of Michael Dean still looks for answers, this makeshift memorial was here created at the scene of his death, and it reads, Long Live Mike, and has several pictures of him and his daughter. The Dean family says an element equally important to them is the identity of the officer behind Michael's death. The attorney feels he should be arrested, properly indicted, and prosecuted. Someone was willing to shoot an unarmed man in the head, um, and we don't know who he is, uh, and we don't have any explanation for the justification for the use of force, and yet he absolutely represents the danger to this community. Temple police say they won't release any additional information until their entire investigation is complete. Upon the completion of the criminal investigation by the Texas Rangers, the department will conduct an internal investigation to determine if the officer's actions were within policy. Now the police are staying all the way on code and they aren't saying anything about what happened. They didn't want to release the cop officer Carmen De Cruz name, but it turns out this cop Carmen De Cruz pulled this brother Michael Dean over for a rolling stop. This brother's crime was not coming to a complete stop at a stop sign. Now this brother Michael Dean was unarmed, but they won't say how he got shot at all. They didn't even bother saying this brother tried to struggle, he was resisting that he made a sudden move or it looked like he was reaching for a gun. They didn't feel like they owed any explanation whatsoever. Not even the same old story that they always use. Eventually his mom said the police told her he didn't pull over right away and he started walking towards the cop. But of course there's no body cam, no dash video to be found. The police will not release it. And the police said they didn't want to corrupt the investigation that they're doing on themselves. And they won't tell his mom or any of his family how this brother got shot in the head. A deadly police shooting in Temple earlier this week is raising a lot of questions tonight for one family and community leaders. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ann Harder. The man died on his daughter's sixth birthday. 25 News reporter Dennis Turner has been asking the tough questions. 28 year old Michael Dean's family visited the scene where he was shot and killed earlier this week by Temple Police, but yet they have no closure. The department will conduct an internal investigation. Dean was pulled over by an unidentified officer during a traffic stop, but he never made it home that night. Every time I got off the phone with him, his last words were, love you, big bro. The family of the victim still wants answers about what led up to the shooting. I understand the family has concerns and questions, as does the community. It is my goal to answer those questions thoroughly and accurately following the completion of these investigations. The Temple Police Department asked the Texas Rangers to conduct an investigation, but people in the community want to make sure there's transparency and their questions get answered. We feel that this young man's human rights and civil rights have been grossly violated and the lack of transparency saddens us. Reverend James Hill demands the Temple Police Department release the body cam video of the interaction between the officer and the deceased. Absent a weapon or any threatening manner, by anyone you stop, it should not result in, a, in an, an assassination. The mayor of Temple is asking for calm while the investigations are completed. 
We are asking for patience while these investigations are pending. But the Dean family says their patience is about to run out. Dennis Turner, 25 News, Temple. So far, police have declined to identify the officer except to say he has been suspended from duty pending the outcome of the investigation. On Monday, Michael Dean was shot and killed by a Temple police officer, but his family still doesn't know what led up to that shooting. Today, they, along with their attorney, Lee Merritt, spoke out about what they are calling a lack of transparency from the department. Meanwhile, Temple's interim police chief, Jim Tobin, held a press conference this evening. Six News reporter Cole Johnson was there, and Cole Tobin offered no new information and refused to answer questions about the case as well. Yeah, Leslie, in a statement, it only lasted less than two minutes, and he mentioned that the Texas Rangers are investigating Monday's shooting, which he says is standard practice. practice rather. Now, according to Tobin, this is done to see if there was a crime TBD is also doing their own internal investigation, but Tobin did not give any details about what led up to Dean's death, although he did express sympathy to the family. I acknowledge that this is a tra tragic event for the Dean family and tra traumatic for the officer involved. We are asking for patience while these investigations are pending. Thank you. Sir, McLean County had an officer involved shooting and we knew what happened at the moment. A few hours later, why have we not gotten any information on this shooting? This is being investigated by the Texas Rangers at this time. Why the lack of transparency, sir? Now, this brother Michael Dean was shot in the head on his daughter's sixth birthday as he was planning to get her a cake. And they feel like they don't owe anybody any explanation. And like his mom said, if he did something, you know that's the first thing they would have said. They would have said he was reaching for the cop's gun. He was fighting back. He did something. But this time, the only thing they're saying is they don't want to compromise the investigation. They didn't even tell his family they killed him until five hours later. And they were thinking this brother probably just went to work on night shift. But this cop, Carmen DeCruz, still got his paid vacation. And eventually, he'll be right back patrolling the same streets in no time. Today, 25 News went searching for answers more than a week after the police involved shooting that left a 28 year old father of two dead. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Lindsay Lippman. Well, tonight we have team coverage on the investigation and the name of the officer who fired that deadly shot. Our Maggie Lowe Miller is diving into the officer's past, but we begin tonight with 25 News reporter Aaron Hept with the latest on the investigation. Eight days have passed since Michael Dean was killed in what they're calling a routine traffic stop, but his family and community leaders want answers and are frustrated as to why it's taken so long to get information released about this case. More than a week after the shooting death of Michael Dean, police hadn't released the name of the officer until we showed up asking why. The Dean's family attorney, Lee Merritt, says that doesn't cut it. Uh, he was shot in the head. Uh, and there's been no narrative, uh, there's been no transparency. Merritt says the Dean family is frustrated with the slow release of information and the facts surrounding the investigation into the traffic stop on December 2nd in Temple. A witness claims they heard the officer say, I effed up, uh, I'm going to lose my job. Uh, that is exactly what Amber Geiger uh, said during her 911 call. Community leaders are calling on transparency from city leaders. There's no justification for the delay. Delay, delay, delay. To delay is to, de to deny. I don't think that the public or the family should be receiving the information piecemeal. The father of two was shot, but there's lingering questions. I did ask law enforcement directly whether they, there was a gun in the car or uh, near Mr. Dean, and they said they couldn't answer the question. And now the case has been turned over to the Texas Rangers to investigate. Everything that's available to the law enforcement community uh, should be made available to the public and, spe and specifically to this family. Why he was pulled over, why he was shot, and was he armed are still all unanswered questions. Today, Temple Police released the name of the officer involved in a shooting last week. The name is Carmen De Cruz has been with the department for nine years. Last Monday, De Cruz shot and killed 28-year-old Michael Dean. Right now, De Cruz is on paid administrative leave while the Texas Rangers investigate the shooting. This is a standard procedure. In 2014, De Cruz was injured during a high-speed chase. In 2017, he was accused in a federal lawsuit of using excessive force and violating a suspect's civil rights. But the court dismissed the case, finding no grounds for a civil rights violation. Texas Rangers are leading the investigation. Now, they didn't want to give up this cop, Common De Cruz, 
They even allow him to scrub his image from the internet and a police website because they're going to protect their own. But they will talk about how this brother Michael Dean was arrested for misdemeanors. But this brother wasn't a criminal. He didn't have a gun. And what they won't tell you is this cop, Carmen Cruz was accused and sued for excessive force and violating civil rights before. This isn't his first time. But of course, in that case, they dismissed it, finding no grounds for civil rights violations. And soon after this paid vacation ends and the heat dies down a little bit, he'll be right back on the force. But at the end of the day, they really don't need any excuse because they have a whole system to back them up. They literally built institutions to keep us in our place. I mean, the FBI was originally created to stop us, but we can't keep acting as individuals thinking we have the same rights as everybody else because we don't. Things will only change when we get on code and stop letting outsiders come in and harm us. But until we're ready to do that, the same things will keep happening over and over and over. We have to realize we are in a war. We didn't start it, but it's here. And at the end of the day, we are all we got. What we got to get on the floor for? Man, that's, that's against our rights, bro. Y'all got guns pointed at us. We work her. For what? For what? Why we? Why, why y'all treating us like criminals? Man, we, I work here. Man, fuck out, man. Man, we work here, bro. We work here. Y'all put y'all put guns on on us. Man, y'all drawing down on us for no reason. Hey, put your guns up. Put your guns up. Put your guns up. Listen, brother, we gotta get figured out. We're trying to stay black. Hey, you don't gotta put your finger on the. You don't, you don't. Man. Put your, put your guns down, man. We ain't no threat. We ain't no threat of y'all. Y'all got y'all guns at us. We work here, bro. Hey, y'all be quiet, please. What? Man. Where did they go? Outside. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, y'all got y'all guns out, bro. We work here just like y'all do. All right, well, put your guns down. We ain't in no threat. Ain't nobody here got no. Ain't nobody here got no weapons. We got. Yeah. Hey, put your guns down, bro. We ain't nobody here. Hey, please be quiet. Man. Be quiet. Be quiet. Why Listen, man, they come down here, run on us with. Okay, not in my shop. Okay, with a bunch of kids. Yeah, 15, 16, I don't know. They start throwing chairs and they ran out of kids. Did you hear any shooting? I ain't hear no shooting. It wasn't no shooting. Chairs throwing because I was right here watching. And then they all ran out. They went out to dick. Any of them go to JCP? I don't know. They ran to dick. Okay. I'm on this team. So you guys come down here. Yeah, and put guns. Please. Man. Take my whole shot down. We did. You gotta see what happened. You gotta see our side. We get a call of an active shooter at the moment. But y'all putting guns on us and we ain't on. Let me finish. We get a call, it's at this show, there's an active shooter here. That's all the information. Okay. Okay, so so what a shooter at? Let me finish. You wanna watch my camera? Let me finish, I can explain it all. We get a call, it's this shot. So we get here, we want to control the scene to be sure no one else dies. I have shot. I have shot. Man, hey, 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 say, say, man, fuck out, man. Why, do, why we on the ground for, bro? We, just get down, bro. Why we on the, man, man, we, I know my rights, bro. This a place of business. I'm a businessman, bro. I'm a businessman. Y'all treat us like we criminals. Y'all chill out. Hey, I don't got no warrants, bro. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just saying, you treat us like criminals, bro. Okay. You you said upon us, man. Well, I'm, I'm not no criminal, bro. I'm not about to lay down like everybody else, dog. Hell hey, yeah. Nah, they, I know my rights, man. You ain't gonna tell me to lay down like I'm a dog. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. I know my rights, though, bro. Yeah, we business, man. We run a business in here. Yeah. The fuck? Hey, y'all still back. Still back. Yeah, nah, fuck. I got me fucked up. White people are crazy as fuck. Can you see her? Do y'all see her? Do y'all really see her? Like, so if I beat her ass, then what? No, if I knock not. her ass, I... 
You have three seconds to get out of my way. Me. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Move out of the way. One. Anna, Tell her to move. I'm gonna Anna, whoop your grandmother's please. ass. Two. Can you please move, please? Anna, please. Can you move, ma'am? No, I'm not. I'm not letting you in this building. Anna, Can Who you are you move? talking to on that phone? Is it a resident of this building? Here's, Is it a resident of this building? Here's an old ass woman, guys. Anna, Tell your nana to get her ass out of the way. Anna, please. Anna, please. Fuck out of the way, dumb bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You're going to rob somebody. Do you hear her? You need to get your hair done. This, table. this bitch is crazy as fuck. This bitch right here. She just stood in the middle and hood like held me. And then she said I'm gonna go rob somebody. You racist, dirty, nasty ass. Give me somebody's information to check up on you. Because I don't understand why you're walking around this neighborhood this is crazy. with a bunch of packages. This is what I be talking about. Dolly. These folks be bothering me like. I'm not I'm not bothering you. So I don't <laughs> want to complain to UPS that you're looking very suspicious and making me nervous. What? I live in this home. I'm making you nervous? Yes, yes absolutely. Because this I don't This is crazy. You absolutely are making this me this is crazy. Because, no, let me tell you why. You know yeah, why? Yeah, tell me why. My car has already been broken into twice. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. It's a really big thing in this neighborhood for people to walk down the street for vandalism. Yeah. So, but I But I, I, I don't even live over here, lady. Name. I'm not giving you shit. I need you to give me your name. I'm not giving you shit. Then we're going to stand here for a while, aren't we? Man, stay in my ass. Look then I'll face. be following you until I get you. Damn, on this the phone. lady is crazy, yo. Like I said, you look very suspicious. I'm trying to tell you. Man, you need to at least be able to like, tell people who you work for. Man, like I have the I have jacket on. Me. She's yes. smoking crap. And we'll talk to the driver route. It's what? the person I need to talk to them about. Lady, you smoking good crap. Well, you might need to be. What the yeah. fuck? Because if you don't think you look suspicious, you're you Wow, that's crazy. This lady is taking pictures of me and recording me like she it's already tripping like I work for UPS. This shit crazy, man. See how these folks do me out here, y'all. That shit crazy. This lady is crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Call the police. You don't have I have my f***ing ID. That is me. F off, you asshole. Welcome to your f***ing world. You just work here. I'm paying you for your f***ing job. You're not paying me. And this Actually, my boyfriend's family All I need is an ID. You for your All I need is an ID. Dude, you're f***ing dirty Well, guess Young what? Boy. I'll be a I'm sorry. Wow. I'll be that. I'll be that. Wow. I'll be that. You dirty Gang. Okay. How about this? About it. Wow, you can call me whatever you want, ma'am. Without an ID, I'm not letting you upstairs. Here's my ID. That is not an ID. Here's my Your name, credit card. You dirty hood rat. Ma'am. Your rat. credit card is not considered ID. No, it's just my name and it's on the room. I know your ghetto ass may not know. I'm not that. from the ghetto. Sorry. I know. Yeah, back away from me. I'm Back away from me. You in my personal space. You in my personal space. This man abused his uh -huh. dog. Yeah. Go check in him. Don't touch my dog. Go check in him. Don't hey, Back up and you. don't touch my dog. Oh, That's again. Don't touch Come my on. dog. Do not touch Ooh. my dog. Do you know my dog? Do you know me? I, I don't know to. you. I, know I don't animals. know you, so Excuse don't touch me. my I dog. Ain't. You must be on some kind of drug or something. So back away from me. Back I'm a little tipsy, oh, man. I know you are. I'm a little tipsy. I know you are. Back I know animals, but he won't like Yeah, me. your privilege got rude. you acting like this. You ain't got no right to touch me or my it's dog. It's called respect. Hi. Back away from me. It's called respect. Back away from me. It's called respect. You psychopath. Dog. You won't let me touch Back him because he me, beats his dog. He beats oh. his dog. Oh, that's yeah. why he's so aggressive yeah, for Yeah, I know. That's they what it is. They reflect their people. It, it ain't because you in my face and he don't know you, no, huh? Yeah, my you dog is gonna protect you. me. You I'm me. helping you out. I should let him rip you apart. I'm hey, back away from my dog. Back away from my dog. Again. So you are crazy. You are crazy. Ignorant. You are idiot. Ignorant yeah. and racist. Don't worry. Racist. Don't worry. Racist. You're gonna be famous.
Hey, back away from my door, you psychopath. Let me back hear away them. from no, my no, dog. Don't record me I told you that multiple times. Back away from my dog. I know animals. I'm hey, a veterinarian. I don't give a damn. You ain't I'm no damn veterinarian. veterinarian. Ain't no veterinarian act like that. Back away from me. Back oh, away yeah. from me. Well, police. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead, call him. Call him. Thank you. Thank you. Call him. Yeah, Thank you man. psychopath. Get away from here. You psychopath. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. She would. That's right. She would. Uh-huh. I bet. Gonna, uh, gonna come in front of somebody and then try to force your way onto their animal. What kind of psychopath is you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Keep, keep, keep talking. Keep talking. You drunk psycho. You drunk psycho. Keep talking. You drunk psycho. specific people and if you don't see yourself up here then that's great you aren't one of them you aren't but these are eight specific people that are in a play which is a metaphor for our country and, the, and a metaphor that doesn't represent every single person in it it just represents these eight people well I, I don't know that's what the, the goal We don't, it's really hard to figure out a solution to 400 years of oppression. Tiger, we're at Foxy's and Tiger. 
I came in here for some Newports, and I was like, they was like, we don't got Newports. We was like, we don't, they don't, we don't, we don't got Newports. Get out of here, lady. And they was like, um, you know, give me my phone. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. I'm calling police. That's crazy. Okay, they let me uh, leave now. They put my arm in this thing right here. Um, so people in the emergency room hallway was throwing up L's. They know me. Um, the lady who did the registration said I catered her mother's um, wedding dinner. Coin Six called me while I was in the emergency room. I told him I have to call them back because honestly I want to talk to the lawyer to see if the lawyer says it's okay that I talk to them. Uh, Channel 12 contacted me as well. They want to talk to me too. The lawyer told me definitely talk to the media. I got all my paperwork here. We're going to see Mr. Smith real soon. You shouldn't have touched me. Take a look at this video where a dispute breaks out in a nail salon where this customer claims that the owner pushed her. Take a look at what the police do next. He did push her. Keep watching because for some reason more police officers turn up. But who are they arresting? The customer or the owner? Keep watching to find out. Address that. Oh, y'all came deep. Like, right, right. And it's been about 30 minutes. I've been standing in here patiently waiting. If somebody's trying to kill, they're going to walk out and do whatever. Okay, you know, you should look over like this. They need to walk I'll be going back to Kathy. Somebody else, family, they would have been up here, whooped for this, out the window, everything. She said she did it the right way. Then it's bad. This ain't his first time doing this to people. Go bound. Get in front of them. Go ahead. Yeah, my, hey. Saw that, right? Look, right here. Oh. 
Yeah, you want to get a hug? Uh, okay. Put your hands behind your back, Kevin. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to take you to jail. Okay? First of all, okay, listen to me. You have, no, uh, uh, none of this tear stuff. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to have an attorney present while you are questioned. If you can't afford to hire one, the court will appoint you one. Do you understand that? Say yes or no. You do. Okay, let's have a seat in the back seat. So when you stop crying and getting all hysterical, I'll talk to you, okay?